Hey, my name is Brandon. I'm the brand ambassador here at Lair Origin Nutrition. And for today, we're going to be exploring the Pure HMO Prebiotic, which is 2-Fucosal Lactose. And this is the foundation, the OG, if you will. This is the main strain utilized and the main strain that we do see in research as one of the most effective strains of human milk oligosaccharides. If you've never taken HMOs before, this is exactly the one I would recommend, even as well in capsule form. Personally, I like the one here in powder. This has been a lifesaver. It's been my foundation over the past few years. And, you know, I know I mentioned this before, too. It's before it was it was baby formula. <laughs> it was not fun to use. It was a product that had trace amounts of HMOs, very small amounts. Uh, but if we kind of see in the research, we're looking to get up to two grams of 2-fucosal lactose per dose. And a lot of good research even supports up to six to eight grams over time for kind of short bursts. So with that said, we'll kind of dive deeper into how to take it, what is it, and why do we want to incorporate HMOs into our daily routine? If you look closer at where immunity all began, we can see and trace its roots back to mother's milk. Surprisingly, one third of mother's milk is comprised of these human milk oligosaccharides, these specialized long chain sugars bound to a protein called glycans. And again, wherever we see glycans, we begin to see immunity. Kind of like the origin story of the microbiome, if you will. There are hundreds of different strains of HMOs that actually exist. And for right now, we are utilizing 2-fucosal lactose, which is, again, one of the most researched, the most efficient and effective at feeding key strains of bifidobacteria, more specifically bifidobacteria longum. So you may be wondering why we keep mentioning bifidobacteria, right? A lot of the research, 2-fucosal lactose feeds bifidobacteria longum. Okay, well, why is this so important? Many reasons, let me just say. So first off, bifidobacteria longum is going to activate key longevity pathways. It is going to help us stay lean over time. It is going to help us produce more B vitamins internally so we can have better energy levels overall rather than constantly supplementing B vitamins when we're having our bacteria actually do it for us. Bifidobacteria helps regulate helper T cells, which keeps our immune system strong, helps lower inflammation, and so much more. There is a massive body of research to support bifidobacteria production at the peak of human health. Also see that bifidobacteria production is associated with the longest lived humans. This is done through activation of different sirtuin proteins that are able to activate longevity pathways quite effectively. Aside from this, bifidobacteria will be able to recruit more helper T cells, so giving us a plethora of anti-inflammatory cytokines to be able to heal the body. And this is exactly kind of what we're getting to, is to be able to close the gut, to have anti-inflammatory signals that really affect the entire body, not only just our adipose tissue and fat mass, but to affect the brain quite rapidly. And this is what we'll start to notice when you actually start taking HMOs for the first time. You'll start to notice better clarity, brain fog, just going away. And this typically happens about that three-day mark, I would say. Three to five days, depending on the individual, depending on your dose. Aside from this, energy levels start to increase. Bowel movements start to become more frequent as we're just clearing away old debris and just old junk that has been in us for far too long. And we start to notice, again, that kind of cleaning from the inside out, better skin, better hair, better nails. And this is, again, getting to what's really true and always been true, is that we can wear as many masks and gloves and everything as possible, but it's not really getting to that immune compromised state. And this is not to say to, to not do any of that, to not wash your hands, to not use sanitizer, but the idea is, again, cleaning from the inside out where immunity all began. Let's make sure we have a strong immune system to really get to the bottom of this thing, to really make sure that we can overcome the common cold and whatever sickness that we're kind of being exposed to. Keep the immune system strong. So this brings us to what we should expect when actually introducing HMOs into the diet. One of the biggest things to note is gas and bloating. 
And these things are typically common amongst most first time users. So this is why we recommend to slowly ease into it, to not just go for a full scoop or three capsules on your very first time. We should go for about a third of a scoop. If we are taking the capsules, just start with one, introduce that with breakfast and start to let your gut get accustomed to it. There's going to be many processes and many changes that are currently occurring and we need to go slow with it. Be patient with your body because it has taken quite a while for us to start to experience negative symptoms. So we definitely want to be patient and give our body time to experience the good things that will come. So when we do actually feel the bloating, the gas that kind of comes with it, this is typically a good thing, right? This means fermentation. The body kind of expands outwards. It becomes a bit puffy. And again, this just means we're fermenting the right bacteria, especially if we have a bunch of dysbiotic bad bacteria within us. We have to remember that they will not go down without a fight. There's kind of like a little war in our system. So we're doing our best to clear them out. And again, if we want the best results here, just utilizing that simple gut reset that came out of the immunity code of human milk oligosaccharides, red polyphenols, and then introducing an apple peel powder or the actual apple peel itself. Personally, I go more towards the apple peel powder just because it's less messy and it ends up being actually more affordable unless you're kind of planning on making a bunch of apple pies after, which um, may not be the best for gut health. So as we get past these first few days, we'll start to notice that fermentation within us go down. And as we start to slowly increase our dose to get our way up to about two grams of human milk oligosaccharides, so 2000 milligrams, which is about one designated scoop, we can start to slowly increase that over the months to come. And what I recommend is just to finish the bottle, to work your way up to an effective dose, finish it, incorporate this into your daily breakfast, into your routine, and wait a little bit before you get on to your next one, just to kind of see what has happened, what you're feeling. And again, some of us may have a longer road to travel. Some of us may have a longer journey. And that is okay. This is again, where we get in with the patients. It may take a little bit to kind of start to heal. But again, this is one of the most effective things we can start to incorporate, especially when combined with reds, with apple peels, and then we can start to incorporate some probiotics into the mixture. But of course, remembering what I like to do is just to break the capsule open, mix that into the food or breakfast that you're consuming, just so we give that less opportunity for breaking open in the small intestine. Once we're at this point, again, we are able to advantage not only bifidobacteria and the good guys, but we're also able to target a lot of the bad bacteria that may be causing things like candida. And this just alludes to kind of what we have already known of it all begins in the gut. So by taking human milk oligosaccharides, I personally believe that you have started one of the most transformative health journeys. And again, I cannot say this with more confidence and just more excitement because it has rapidly changed my life. It has been able to help me through uh, FODMAP and fad dieting in that thought of me never able to digest carbohydrates ever again. And to not only that, but just to reverse food sensitivities, to get rid of a gluten intolerance, to get rid of a, a lactose intolerance was one of the biggest things. And I think one of the biggest accomplishments, because again, it was led to me demonizing these foods. And unfortunately, that is just not the answer. You know, of course, we want to get higher quality foods into our diets, organic and grass fed wherever possible, things that are not so, so refined and heavily processed. But of course, we should not demonize the food itself. We should be able to train our microbes to be able to digest whatever it is. And again, here we are getting to the root cause. I cannot stress enough, and I'm always happy to help. Uh, you can find me at the Nutritional Paradigm on Instagram or on our website. And uh, you can always reach out in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer any questions you may have. Again, always happy to help and I'm very, very excited for you to begin your gut health journey and to be able to introduce such a powerful supplement into your diet. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. It's been a long journey. And again, it has been 10 years of this for me trying to figure this out. So I really, really want to help you get on the better path 
and really start to get at what's always been true within the human body and that we need to fix our gut bacteria. And this is one of the best ways to do so. So again, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you soon.